Hey, everyone, James here, and I'm here in my house wondering the same thing you're probably wondering right now. Am I a golden person? Did I get it right? Was that what you were thinking? No? Oh, well, humans aren't, you know, even remotely gold, but are we, by the Greek standard, mathematically beautiful? A mathematical concept derived from the observation of nature, from the shell of a sea creature spiraling outwards to the pineapple having very peculiar sequence regarding its eyes, the Fibonacci sequence is well a sequence of numbers where two numbers are added and the result of those two numbers will be added with the second number from the previous equation. For example, 1 plus 1 is equal to 2, 1 plus 2, the answer to the last equation, plus 1 is equal to 3, then 2 plus 3. 5, 3 plus 5 is equal to 8, and so on and so forth. And this basically can go infinitely, with sequence going like 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55, 89, and you can just imagine what's next. Phi, or the golden ratio, is the ratio between each number of the Fibonacci sequence which we get from dividing, for example, the 15th number of the Fibonacci sequence, dividing it with the 14th number. We get exactly or relatively close to 1.618. Fibonacci's number, or the golden ratio, is not only found in textbooks or in online class, but it can also be found near you and near me, and specifically our faces. As the Greek standard of beauty directly corresponds with the golden ratio, if you were to follow this table, and you would take these said measurements of your face and do all this work, you can measure how close you are to the Greek standard of beauty, which is 1.618. Ang nakuha kong number is 1.639. Medyo sobra lang ng konti. Ibig sabihin na sobra lang ako sa pogi. Charot lang po, unahin muna natin pag-aaral. This isn't just a coincidence, as we can see Fibonacci sequence on very famous paintings like Da Vinci's Mona Lisa. As you can see in the photo, Mona Lisa goes perfectly around the Fibonacci sequence. Some may say that Da Vinci subconsciously followed Fibonacci sequence. The Fibonacci sequence or the Fibonacci curve can also be seen in the human body. Like for example, when you look at your ear, you can see that the Fibonacci curve is present in your ear. You can also see on your fingerprints. When you look at them really, really close, you would see that the Fibonacci curve is right there. Okay. Okay, wow, okay. Ganda. So, ito na yung part ng vlog kung saan I will actually show you na meron Fibonacci sequence all around uh, the place or where I live. So basically, so when where I live, there's not a lot of houses, pero maraming mga vegetation. So meron mga trees, may mga flowers, may mga ferns and such, may mga bushes. Um, sa una kong nakita, ang una ko talagang finogos is uh, flowers, of course. So, yung mga flowers, uh, I've seen a lot of flowers na meron three petals, one petal, two petals. Now, yung mga nakita ko is this one that looks like it has five petals. Which is pretty cool. Uh, it comes in different colors. I mean, not just this one, of course. Meron yung color purple, which is really, really nice. Meron yung gumamela rin. If, you, if you've seen gumamela before, uh, gumamela has five? Yeah, five petals, which are very, very noticeable. And then, I saw this um, pine tree. And uh, yung pine tree na yun, um, kung nakita mo talaga yung leaf niya, it looks like a spiral. It looks really, really good. And then when you look add to it like really closely you would see na parang talagang wow Fibonacci eh, Fibonacci again it's pretty cool it's pretty beautiful 
and uh yeah